Good morning, everybody. Mark Finan here in the Home Weather Office on this Wednesday morning. It is the 25th day of October, 2023. This is the morning briefing coming to you from my Home Weather Office. And as I look out the window of the Home Weather Office, I see clouds, I see some sun, I also see the trees moving around a little bit, a little breeze coming in. And I got a little cold front that's going to slide through the area during the day today. Temperatures will stay cool. And we're still expecting some areas to see a little bit of rain this afternoon and into early this evening, as well as a bit of snow in the high Sierra. Many areas will miss this, and I'll show you the latest models. But if you do have any um, outdoor plans for many areas, let's say especially south of Highway 20, uh, we really won't be seeing the rain until the chance of rain until later on this afternoon. So this morning is still going to be relatively dry. I want to start this morning with this uh, with this satellite because this is just, just just spectacular. All right, look at this line of clouds right here. This is basically the cold front, so we are still on the relatively warm side out ahead of it. There is colder air coming in from the Gulf of Alaska behind it. So yeah, there's this, this line of clouds. Uh, let me, I'm gonna uh, go off script here and call up something different. So I'm gonna call up the NAM here. This wasn't planned to do, but it just kind of popped into my head. Okay, so this is the 500 millibar winds. These are the winds up around 18,000 feet. So this area of red is winds of uh, around 80 knots. So that's that's your basic jet stream right there, okay? So, yeah. So there's your jet stream this morning and this afternoon. All right, now let's go back to the satellite. See how they are one and the same. So this along this, that's where the jet stream is too. So you have winds aloft up around 18,000 feet that are around 80 knots. And it's also the direction that counts of these winds. So these winds, as we get into this afternoon, and let's go down in elevation, down to 700 millibars. These winds, although not as strong down at um, 700 millibars, uh, down around 10,000 feet, um, the direction that is, is what's important, it is going directly perpendicular to the Sierra. So in other words, the wind with whatever's moisture is with this comes in off the Pacific and then as it goes up the, the west slope of the Sierra to the crest of the Sierra, then we get the additional lift, we get the additional cooling, and that's where you get the rain. So that's why while we do have a nice little jet stream aloft here, um, we are basically going to be seeing some of the lower level winds um, drive what we call the orographics here to squeeze out whatever precipitation we are going to get. Let me zoom in a little bit here because you'll also see, as this loads up for a second, um, you also see on the east side of the Sierra the wave clouds. So in other words, so you have that wind I just showed you and as it goes over the Sierra, it's like um, it's like the Sierra are uh, are, are, well, let's say let's say this is a, a stream or a river, and these would be the <laughs> kind of the rapids downstream. So it goes over uh, an area of rocks, if you will, and then downstream you have this turbulence, so rising and, and falling air, giving you these this beautiful pattern of, of cloud cover. Uh, so the, as you can see, the farther south you go, the clearer the skies are. We have the marine layer along parts of the coast, some morning fog anyway. Um, and this line is gradually going to sink to the south during the day today, bringing us our chance of rain. All right, so let's get back to our rain chances today. And let's take a look at the 14Z run. All right. So here comes our chance of rain. This is... This is one o'clock in the afternoon. This is, again, this is just one model. I'll show you the NAM as well. So this is the HRRR at um, one o'clock this afternoon. A band of rain through Plumas County and into Butte County. Areas south of Highway 20 are still dry. That line tries to hold together. This is at five o'clock. So this would be in uh, Roseville, Lincoln, Grass Valley, Nevada City, Auburn, all seeing some rain, some snow above 7,000 feet. But yeah, this isn't a big rainmaker, and obviously in areas from Elk Grove to the south, we aren't seeing anything. And this is probably our best chance of rain in Sacramento County, as well as El Dorado County, um, any areas north of Highway 88, Amador County. This is uh, 6 o'clock in the evening. And then that line falls apart as we go through the night tonight, hanging on to some rain on the west slope into the early morning hours with very light amounts. Let's see how the, the NAM shows this. NAM is similar. 
bringing in this line, this is 5 o'clock this afternoon. Once again, rain on the west slope, snow above 7,000. And yeah, chance of showers in the evening with very, very limited amounts of rain. So when it comes to total precip accumulation, it's showing Sacramento with a trace, the lower foothills, uh, perhaps as much as a quarter, and then the upper areas above 4,000 feet, maybe see as much as an inch of water. Hmm, that seems like it's on the high side, but I think that's possible with good aura graphics. Let's see what the HRRR says. HRRR is also just showing trace amounts in the valley along Highway 49, one to two tenths, and the higher elevations a half an inch to maybe three quarters of an inch. Um, and in terms of snow, a very narrow area may get three or four inches of snow. I did see earlier that Highway 4 is closing at noon today. Ebbets Pass is closing. I did not see any news about 108 or 120 um, today. Um, but if you are planning on using Sonora Pass or Tioga Pass, Keep in mind that there will be some snow there on the Tioga Pass, probably not very much, but they uh, they they are closing Ebbets Pass, last time I checked, today at noon. Um, not, not for the full season, but just for the day, because this thing will go by and everything will uh, quiet down as we get into um, the next few days. So the, the temporary closure on Highway 4 will only be for, for, for a short period of time, and then we'll get back into um, a dry condition. So again, this isn't the full seasonal closure just yet. So that's what I've got for you this morning. Um, as I mentioned, many areas will stay dry today. Um, I would think that Solano County, uh, Tracy, Patterson, Stockton, Modesto will all stay dry. The better chance of rain uh, for the valleys on the east side of the valley and from Sacramento County to the north with very light amounts. But once you get up to the foothills, Highway 49, we'll see some nice rain as we go through the, uh, the late afternoon and through the early evening hours. And if you're driving up over Highway 80, Interstate 80, or Highway 50, you'll find some slushy snow. Maybe we'll get some chain controls. We'll see. Um, all depends on just how cool it stays. But yeah, speaking of temperatures, highs in the 60s today and highs in the 60s for the next few days. Just last week, we saw a high of 91. This week, we're looking at highs in the 60s. Yep, that season is here. So that's everything I've got for you on this Wednesday morning. Uh, make it a great day. I'll talk with you later.